this video, we are going to step into the perspective of a student to see how they can view and interact with the course outline on a class page. The course outline lists all the students' tasks, quizzes, due work and projects, and it is important for teachers to understand the benefits of this component for their students. In our student role on our 9A English class page, we can see the Romeo and Juliet unit on the course outline, with the student activities and due dates listed. There are icons to denote whether the activity is a due work, task, quiz, or project. The activities in blue are clickable, and this is where the students will go to view the details, submit or view their results for a particular task. To mark a task as complete, the student can click the box next to the task, or click into the task details screen and click the box next to their name. The task will now display an orange tick. To submit a due work, a student can click on the due work to read the details and then click the Create Submission button. They can then submit their work in the text editor or add a file from their device if online submissions have been turned on by the teacher. To the right of each activity, there may be an icon that shows the student their progress through the course, just like we saw in the task. This grey box is displayed for tasks to allow students to self-progress by ticking it, if the self-assessed option has been toggled on by the teacher. An orange tick box means the activity has been submitted but not graded or reviewed by the teacher yet. The green circle tick is used to show a completed and graded activity. Projects may act a little differently depending on how they are set up and how much work a student has completed within the project. Ticks will appear next to the project if the student has completed every activity within the project. Some projects do not require students to do this, so students will not see a tick. Students can click into the project and see the details of the project and which activities they have submitted or completed. Dates under the activity will turn grey once submitted by the student. Green dates mean that students have not completed the task yet, and red dates mean that an activity is due today or overdue.